To prevent nutrients, such as nitrogen, from being lost, Howard Brown of Align IFS says when there's no field crop growing, a cover crop should be. We're learning that the, the nitrogen that we see that, that's a problem maybe in the fall of the year that goes places we don't want it to go, isn't necessarily farmer applied nitrogen. It's more than likely what we're seeing is something called mineralization. 95% of the nitrogen in the soil is bound organically. And when we give those microbes an opportunity to break down that humus, they release phosphorus, sulfur, and guess what, nitrogen. And when they release it and there's nothing there to take it up, we give it all the opportunities in the world to go places we don't want it to go. And people have always taken the, the path of least resistance. They've looked at a farmer putting nitrogen on and the blame has automatically went to a farmer. Well, I want to remind people, two years ago when we had no fall nitrogen, Lake Springfield got above five parts per million. I think it was as much as six and a half parts per million with no fall nitrogen. And where did that come from? Like with Lowell Gentry's work, a lot of it was coming from where soybeans have been harvested and that nitrogen wasn't utilized. The tough question, Howard, how do we resolve this? Well, first, I have to say, Stu, there, fall nitrogen. Fall nitrogen, although it's not the guilty one here, farmers have to assess the value of putting nitrogen on in the fall, the risk versus the benefit. Now, once a farmer does that, the other thing we have to do is like in these watersheds where nitrates are an issue and we don't have cleaning materials or a, a way to clean it, scrub it, I would, I would urge them to think about such as, uh, for lack of a better term, emergency response plan where they help farmers put out cover crops after harvest, after a year of drought, because in the year of drought, we're going to have a lot of nitrogen left in the profile. That's our report down on the farm for WITY Radio. I'm Stu Ellis.